Hey people, what's going on? I just thought I'd have to do like a little vlog thing, kind of talk a little bit, kind of say things I'm sick of. Like, you go to Walmart, and you go and you shop. They have all these people in there, but there's like one line open. And it's like, you have all these people standing around and you're not doing anything, and you're clearly making however much money you're making, and your job is to sit there and take our orders and like check us out or like you know ring up items whatever you're doing but yet you stand around and you talk about what you're gonna do when you get off work instead of doing that how about open another register and then do what you do when you get off work and help everybody that's in the store get out because then it causes issues and I see people fight over it like it's kinda dumb but people do fight over it which is whatever uh, anyways also like driving like okay so I'll, I'll live in, in uh, Louisville and that's in Kentucky. Yes, I know. Blah, blah, blah. Kentucky. Blah, blah, blah. So anyways, like, I work um, at the hospital, at the VA, and, like, you have to go through downtown Louisville. But when you go through downtown Louisville, there's a spot where you have to turn and get off and, like, you uh, go to, like, Indiana or you can go this way. Well, for some reason, the people that live in Indiana can't figure out that this side of the road over here is the side they don't need to be on to get off on their exit and that's either way because there's two bridges because there's one that goes to Clarksville or Jeffersonville and there's another one if you keep going down the road that goes to New Albany and they can't figure out and my camera's trying to slide on me <laughs> okay uh, anyways um, that's you know some things and like also so I work in a pharmacy and these people like they think they're entitled to their medications like that we're giving them wrong like I'm trying to help you like me taking my time on your medication instead of rushing your medication means that I'm doing it right. Not that I'm trying to give you the wrong stuff. I'm like, I mean, you think that I would want to jeopardize my job that I have to give you the wrong medication and do you wrong? No. But you come in with me the attitude because I'm the last person you see that you've been to the doctor and you waited all day and you've gone through this process and you've went and you drove your way or from wherever you came from to get there and everything in your day is my fault. Sorry, but you know, if that's not the truth, what I want to do is I want to help you out. I want to get you in and out as quick as possible. I understand that you have a family. I understand that you have things you want to do. I understand that you want to go watch the UK game. Whatever it is that you want to do, I want to help you out. I don't want you to be mad at me or be, hey, this is stupid. Listen, it's not my fault, man. Okay, listen. We'll get you in and out as quick as we can, and we'll get you on to the next show, all right? We'll see you next time. You hope you have a good day. That's all. <clears throat> also, what's up with all these riots and stuff and all the police officers and all these things showing up on the internet? Like, no matter what happens, oh, he sprayed pepper spray. Nope. Gonna have to arrest him. I mean, seriously, it's like everything you turn the news on, it's always bad stuff. Like, there's never any good things on the news anymore. Like, there's a school bus crash today. Fifteen kids were injured. You know, I mean that. Yeah, that's newsworthy and everything. But, or oh, there was a policeman shot. And he was killed. And he was killed in action. Then he could be, also he killed this one kid. And I think there was racism involved and all this and all that. I'm like, are we not past that now? Is it not, you know, 1975? What is it? And it's the year's almost 2015, and we're still having these issues. I mean, seriously, shouldn't have these issues anymore. I understand anything. I mean, I just want to turn the news on one time. I mean, yeah, I turn on and see the weather, but besides that, I mean, there's just all the negativity on the news, and you don't see anything worth anything on there. I mean, there's nothing that's of, you know, that's just a, not a, a story that's not, uh, you know, someone dying or someone getting hurt or something. It's always that. I mean, there's never any things of you know, I don't understand. I can't say. I don't know the words of like uplifting. It's like someone who like did something and donated a bunch of money to charity, or someone who who took their time out of the day to help a homeless person. You know, why can't we have something like that on the news? Why can't there be anything like that? Why has it always got to be that way? That rude. But anyways, you know, I'm venting and I'm kind of getting off on camera. But anyways, I'm trying to get back on track and do some more videos and stuff. So anyways, I hope you do like what I've got coming. I'm trying to do a bunch of things and hopefully I'll get a computer newer soon that's better than this piece of crap that I got now and so I can take this and throw it in the BB Gunner. Hey, if you're watching, give it to Jeremy. Would you like this computer? Jeremy, if you would like this computer, 
leave a comment in the description below of a lyric to a Barney song. Boom. Peace out. Peace out. Have fun. Love. Much love. Sorry for venting on you, but hey, I love you guys. Check out my bye.